This is Taylor from Wall Street Prep with your second PowerPoint Insider Secret, what I call the PowerPoint Layout Challenge. So how quickly can you generate new slide layout ideas for your presentations when your bosses, clients, and colleagues send you slides like this? So here's a meeting agenda. Here's an overview of the meeting attendees. And here's some business objectives. The problem is this is all just plain old text on a white slide background. So your job is to quickly generate new slide layout ideas for your bosses, clients, and colleagues. Well, here's how most people would try to solve this challenge. They would come in, they'd look at their text. I'll just do this fairly quickly. Maybe grab a rectangle, control shift drag once, twice to create one row, control shift drag down to create a second row. The only problem is now you have to copy and paste the text from your shape or rectangle into your layout, and you have to manually come up and figure out how you're going to lay this out differently. So this is actually a fairly ineffective and slow way to generate new slide layout ideas for your presentations. On the flip side, if you select a shape or rectangle on the outside edge here in PowerPoint, navigate up to the home tab and come to the smart art drop down you can very quickly flip your text backwards through a smart art graphic to generate a new visual layout for your slide which is 10 times faster than you could ever do it yourself now there are some disadvantages to using smart art but i'll show you how to get by those in just a second now first off this represents 16 different category headings to over 250 different smart art layouts for example if i come and select one of these smart art layouts You'll see the Smart Design tab. Here, I will actually move this over to the right so you can see this. Smart Design tab, come to this drop down. You get a variety of smart art layouts that you can quickly hover over to see different layouts for your presentations. And here, you're just looking for inspiration at this point because once you select something, and I'll select this titled picture accent list, I will resize it or bring it back onto my slide and resize it. Once you have the smart art graphic, you can actually ungroup it. So you can Control Shift G once twice to ungroup a smart art graphic which gives you full formatting and editing control one of the things people don't like about smart art is that it's hard to format in this case if i just resize a little bit you can see control shift g to ungroup i have plenty of room for a third column here now on my slide layout from here there's a variety of different things you can do to format your graphic you can come to the shape format tab edit shape change shape and make it all into rectangles and you can continue to format until it looks something like this so here's that same smart art layout now that I've fully formatted and customized it for my presentation. So that would be starting with a bold list of text for a meeting agenda, flipping it backwards through smart art to generate a layout like this, and then formatting it so you ended up with something like that. So quickly moving from a bold list of text to a full-fledged visual layout like that in just a couple of minutes. And if we flip back to PowerPoint, let me just do this one more time for our next slide. So our meeting attendees. So I will click into the text box, home tab, smart art, this time I'm just gonna go into this vertical block list. I'm gonna move this again to the right so you can see what this looks like as I come to the Smart Design tab. I'm gonna open this up. Again, I'm just looking for inspiration for how I wanna lay this out because again, I'm gonna break the Smart Art graphic apart. I'm gonna go with this alternating picture block layout. I'm going to, you could either convert to shapes, which is the same thing as just selecting a Smart Art graphic and Control Shift G once, twice, to break it down into the individual shapes, lines, and text boxes that you can then, I will group these, resize these. Now in this case, I'm thinking I am going to use pictures for these squares. So in this case, I would actually want this. I'll just use a quick little shortcut there to flip it around. And from here, I could quickly build out something like this. So this is that same slide layout with some pictures here for my different meeting attendees. So that'd be moving from a bold list of text, throwing it backwards through Smart Art to quickly generate this layout, taking some pictures and then cropping and resizing them into a standardized size and shape, which I'll show you how to do very quickly later in the series to generate a layout like this. And if you're worried that there's too much white space above or below on the slide layout, you could alternate the layout and put their full names up top, something like that. So that would be moving from a bold list of text, having no idea what you want to do and quickly generating this type of layout in just a couple of minutes once you know what you're doing. So that's your second PowerPoint Insider Secret and the solution to what I call the PowerPoint Layout Challenge. Quickly generating new slide light ideas for your presentations regardless of what somebody sends you.